Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and we are back with more members of the 118th Congress. More videos in general because I've just been stagnating here the last few days. Anyway, today we are going to take a look at Representative Linda T. Sanchez, who represents the 38th District of California. It's a district that is southeast of Los Angeles and north of Anaheim. Trying to see if I can give you a little better idea. Uh, yeah. That's all I can really say. Um, but, anyway. She is a Democrat. And before she took office, she was preceded in office by Steve Horn. Now, let's go ahead and look at who she is as an individual. She was born, well, she, she is the sister of Loretta Sanchez, this is what it says here. Um, but she was born in Orange County, California on January the 28th, 1969 earned a Bachelor of Arts from the University of California, Berkeley, in Berkeley, California, in 1991. Earned a JD from the University of California, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, California, in 1995. Has been a private practice lawyer. An executive secretary and treasurer of Orange County, California. Member of the uh, for the AFL CIO in 2000 to 2002, uh, before being elected as a Democrat to the 108th and 10 following Congresses. So she is in term 11, year 22. Now, let's go ahead and look at the committees she is on. She is on the Committee on Ways and Means, of which she is on the Subcommittee on Social Security, the Subcommittee on Tax, and the Subcommittee on Trade. And she is on the Select Subcommittee on the Weaponization of the Federal Government. Now, let's go ahead and look at her top five industry donors over her career. At the top, insurance, who have donated $851,216. Next is pharmaceuticals and health products, who have donated $715,956. Next is health professionals, who have donated $699,000. Next is real estate, who have donated $679,071. And fifth is lawyers and law firms, who have donated $673,104. Now, let's go ahead and look at her top five individual donors and contributors over her career. At the top, number one, we have International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, and they are a labor union that represents approximately 820,000 workers and retirees in the electrical industry in the U.S., Canada, Guam, Panama, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands, in particular electricians or inside wiremen, in the construction industry and line workers and other employees of public utilities. The union also represents some workers in the computer, telecommunications, and broadcasting industries and other fields related to electrical work. Altogether, they've donated 
$116,815. And once again, that's the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. Next, at number two, we have the International Association of Sheet Metal, Air, Rail, and Transportation Workers. Or SMART for short. Um, they are a North American labor union headquartered in Washington, D.C., which was chartered by the AFL-CIO in 2013. The product of a merger between the Sheet Metal Workers International Association and the United Transportation Union. SMART represents over 210,000 sheet metal workers, service technicians, bus operators, engineers, conductors, sign workers, welders and production employees, among others, throughout the United States, Puerto Rico, and Canada. Altogether, it has donated $111,500, and once again, that's the Sheet Metal Air Rail and Transportation Union. Next, at number three, we have Machinist Aerospace Workers Union, their full name being the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers. And they are an AFL-CIO-CLC trade union representing approximately 646,933 workers as of 2006 in more than 200 industries with most of its membership in the United States and Canada. Altogether, it has donated $109,500, and once again, that's the Machinists Aerospace Workers Union. Next, at number four, we have the American Federation of State County Municipal Employees, and... They are one of the largest trade unions of public employees in the United States, representing 1.3 million public sector employees and retirees, including health care workers, corrections officers, sanitation workers, police officers, firefighters, and child care providers. It was founded in Madison, Wisconsin in 1932 and is part of the AFL-CIO, one of the two main labor federations in the United States. Altogether, it has donated $107,550 and once again, that's the American Federation of State County Municipal Employees. And finally, in fifth, we have the National Association of Realtors, and it is an American trade association for those who work in the real estate industry, and as of December 2023, had over 1.5 million members, making it the largest trade association in the United States including the National Association of Realtors, Institutes, Societies, and Councils involved in all aspects of the residential and commercial real estate industries. The organization holds a U.S. trademark over the term Realtor and functions as a self-regulatory organization for real estate brokerage. It is headquartered in Chicago. Yeah, I don't trust groups to self-regulate. We've seen how that leads too often. Altogether, they have donated $101,500. And once again, that's the National Association of Realtors. Now, let's look at our donors at a glance. Industry-wise, insurance, uh, 
pharmaceuticals and health products, <laughs> health professionals, <laughs> hey, that's okay, real estate, <laughs> lawyers and law firms, <laughs> individually, International Brotherhood of Electric Workers, great, wonderful, Sheet Metal Air Transportation Metal Union, wonderful, great. Machinist Aerospace Workers Union, wonderful, great. American Federation of State County Municipal Employees, absolutely wonderful, great. National Association of Realtors, that's good. I just don't put a lot of trust in realtors, landlords. Anyway, this has been a look at Representative Linda Sanchez, who is the representative for the 38th District of California. As always, Educate thyself, think, read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll be putting my links and sources in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later.